Uh, John Kosick has been working through the details for us, and he joins us live from the newsroom with the allegations that surfaced John just after a loss last week. That's right, they needed longtime high school football coach Tim Floss. He is accused of slapping one player, verbally abusing another. He won't be on the sidelines this Friday, and some wonder whether he'll ever be back. Firestone High School's football team practices without head coach Tim Flossie this afternoon. The 65-year-old, 35-year coaching veteran has been suspended indefinitely. Flossie wasn't happy after last Thursday's game against Bishop Hoban. Few coaches would be after a 24-0 loss, but he is accused of taking it a step further. Coach Flossie verbally abused, I'm using the language that you know, verbally abused, one player and may have slapped another. When the allegations came to life from a parent on Friday, Flossie was suspended from coaching. He's faced similar accusations in the past. I understand he went through anger management, you know, and, and, but I also will say, um, you know, being a football coach in high schools is not an easy job. There's a lot of challenges that go with that. Out of Firestone's practice, many who know Coach Flossie agree. He coached me when I was in high school, you know. I know he's a passionate coach and he was probably on a short leash because of some things that happened previously. And I just hate that uh, that went down like that. He's an old style coach. He's uh, he's a dinosaur. I mean, he, he's a coach that's going to be in your face. And, uh, you know, I guess a lot of that has just kind of disappeared. Jay Brophy should know. He played for Howard Schnellenberger at Miami and in the NFL for Don Shula. He also coached with Flossie at times over the years and said he's spoken with him. He's a great guy. And, of course, he's hurt. I mean, this is, this is his life. Uh, but, you know, uh, sometimes things come to an end, and he understands that. In 2011, when Flossie was reprimanded, he came close to losing his coaching job then. No word when Akron schools will make a decision on the coach's future. Live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News Channel 5. All right, John, thank you very much.